All right, so here are some examples for the greatest common factor and the least common multiple. And again, make sure that we're identifying the factor and then the multiple, okay? That's gonna help you really understand what we're gonna be doing. So a factor is what times what gives me that number. So it's gonna be less than one of these numbers. It could be one of the numbers, but usually it's gonna be less than. So greatest common factor, couple of different ways we can do that. I'm gonna go ahead and show you with the T-chart, because that's one of my favorite ways to do that. And then I'm gonna show you that reverse division way. So one times 24, two times 12, three times eight, four times six, five doesn't work, and then we're back to six. And then 40, I have, always put your freebie down because we like our freebies. Two times 20, three doesn't work because remember the trick for three is you add your digits. So four plus zero is four, four is not evenly divisible by three. And then I'm gonna do four, four times 10, five. Now I know five works because it ends in a zero. Okay? That's our divisibility trick. If it's zero or five, you know it's divisible by five. And then so it's five times eight. Seven doesn't work. Six doesn't, all right, seven already doesn't work. Eight, oh, we're already repeating, so we're done. So what I'm gonna do is look for my greatest common factor. So here are all of my factors. I'm just gonna go back, like I know these are my greatest, so I'm just gonna kinda go down and see which one is the common. So 24, 40, 12, 20, eight. Oh, there's an eight, and that's the first one that shows up. Okay. So my greatest common factor is eight. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and show you this is another way. There's actually three different ways we can find it. I'm just gonna show you this other way. Uh, you could do your prime factorization and then circle the ones that are in common. But this way is what we call like the birthday cake way or the reverse division. You will not find this way in your textbook and that's why I'm doing this example. So the first step is to make your layer. And you should have this in your notes. So you make your layer. And then I'm gonna look at what number can I factor out from that? Oh, they're both even so I know I can divide out by a two. 24 divided by two is 12. 40 divided by two is 20. I'm gonna make another layer. What other number can I factor out? Oh, they're both even so I'm gonna factor out a two. 12 divided by two is six. 20 divided by two is 10. And they're even again, so I can factor out another two. And remember, our bench always helps us to start off with what numbers we can factor out. Six divided by two is three. 10 divided by two is five. Okay, now there's nothing else I can factor out, so we're done. So what you need to do is off to the side, you, fact, you circle those numbers and then you multiply. Our greatest common factor is gonna be two times two times two. Two times two is four, four times two is eight. So our greatest common factor is eight. So again, notice it's the same answer. It should be the same answer. I know that something didn't work out the way I wanted it to, but um, it's just a different way to solve the problem. Okay, and a lot of people like this birthday cake way or this reverse division way. I don't know why we call it reverse division, but it is what it is. Okay, so let me go through. We're going to use these same numbers, 24 and 40, and we're going to find our least common multiple. Okay. So, you would have already had this set up, so... So find the least common multiple of 24 and 40. So again, 
couple of different ways you could do it. You could list out your multiples, um, 24 and 40. Okay. So 24, your freebie is 24. This is your... So 24 times 2 is 48. 24 times 3 is... I'm going to do that old school off to the side because I can't figure that out right now in my head. I don't want to think that hard. So 72. Okay. And then I'm going to do 4 times 24. So that's 16. 8, 9, 1, 6. Let me know if I'm making a mistake. And then I'm going to go ahead, and technically I can just add right here another 24. So that's going to give me 9, 10, 12. And then a multiple, so 40 times 1 is 40. 40 times 2 is 80. 40 times 3 is 120. Whew, we don't have to go too far to get our least common multiple of 120. Now again, looking for multiple. So it's either going to, it has to be greater than the numbers you have. So it has to be 40 or more. So your least common multiple is 120. Now, just like we had for the greatest common factor, this is another way to solve. And this is that birthday cake way. So what you need, but it's a little bit different than the greatest common factor. So you have to pay attention um, to the differences. So we have 24 and 40. Okay, I'm going to make my first layer. Now just again, off to the side, if you automatically know what your bench is, you have them in your mind, you don't have to keep writing the bench down. But it's a good way to have it there. Oh, they're both even, so I know I can factor out a 2. 24 divided by 2 is 12. 40 divided by 2 is 20. And I can factor out another 2. 12 divided by 2 is 6. 20 divided by 2 is 10. I'm going to factor out another 2. So it gives me 3 and 5. Okay. Now, there's nothing else I can factor out. And then they're also, notice, they're all prime numbers. Okay, so once you get down to all prime numbers, you're done. Okay. So, notice I've made my little L, and your L's are going to look different depending on what numbers you do. And then to find your least common multiple, all you need to do is multiply. So you're going to multiply 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 5. Notice those are the same numbers right here. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. 8 times 3 is 24. 24 times 5. I'm going to just do that off to the side. I kind of already know what it is, but I'm going to show you the work just in case. Oh, 120. So my least common multiple is 120. Okay. Again, notice it's the same thing as we got up here by listing them out. This is just another way that people like that's kind of structured. Um, if you like this way, do that. Um, it really works nicely if you have more than two numbers, and um, we'll practice those.